Today, I'm gonna to be talking about how you can use generative AI to make your R programming easier and faster, all from within RStudio. We'll be covering how to use ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot in the RStudio IDE, and we'll cover all of this in just five minutes. Given the time constraints, we won't get too deep into what these tools are, but if you're interested in the full details, I've got a video on my channel that covers things like what generative AI is, how these tools work, what these tools are good and bad at, ethical considerations for using generative AI, best practices and tips and tricks, and finally, how to use these tools in R to do things like creating images, transcriptions, translations, and making customized models on your own data. For today though, we'll just go over a very high level summary of these two tools and then show how to get up and running in RStudio. GitHub Copilot is a pair programmer that will generate code suggestions in real time directly within your IDE. This will make your R programming so much faster and more efficient. On the other hand, ChatGPT is more like a chatbot where there is a back and forth conversation. As an R programmer, it's a really great way to ask your questions about R on the fly and get answers immediately. It's a great tool for learning about R. And when you combine these tools together, you get the best of both worlds. A large difference between these two tools is the cost. GitHub Copilot has a fixed cost of $10 per month as an individual, whereas the cost for using ChatGPT depends on a lot of different factors. You can use it from the browser for free, but using it from within RStudio will cost money. Each message that's sent back and forth will cost a very small amount of money, but if you're worried about overspending, you can set monthly spending limits so that it never costs you more than you intend to spend. To use GitHub Copilot in RStudio, you'll first need to pay for a subscription to the service using your GitHub account. You can go to github.com slash features slash copilot to sign up. From here, you'll need to make sure that you have the most recent version of RStudio installed, which you can download from posit.co slash download slash RStudio dash desktop. Launch RStudio and then go to tools, global options, copilot. Make sure that the checkbox beside enable GitHub Copilot is checked. If it's your first time clicking this checkbox, you'll be asked to install the GitHub Copilot agent. Say yes to this. And then once the agent is installed, there'll be a button that says sign in. Click sign in to sign into your GitHub account, and you'll then be prompted to enter a verification code in the browser. Once you're finished authenticating, Copilot will be activated in RStudio. As you start to type code, suggestions from Copilot will automatically pop up. If you like the suggestion, you can hit tab to accept it. As you hit enter, more suggestions will pop up. To use ChatGPT in RStudio, there are many different approaches, but one way is to use the chatter package. There's a number of reasons why I recommend this package over other packages that offer similar functionality. First, this package is maintained by Posit, the company that created RStudio. All of their packages are extremely high quality and are more likely to receive frequent bug fixes. Second, the chatter package automatically sends useful information to the chatbot that will greatly improve the quality of the answers that are provided to you. For anyone that's used ChatGPT before, you know that the more specific your prompts are, the better the responses will be. And chatter is very specific. For example, chatter provides ChatGPT with reference books about R, including R for data science and tidy modeling with R. This means that the answers you get are going to be very tailored to the task at hand. And finally, Chatter allows you to access many different types of models, so you're not just limited to ChatGPT. The Chatter package is really new, so to install it, you'll need to install it from GitHub. To do this, you can use the install underscore GitHub function from the remotes package. To start using ChatGPT, you'll need to provide your OpenAI API key. You can get an API key by Googling for OpenAI API key, logging in, and then going to personal view API keys. From here, you can create a new secret key, and then you can provide that key to the sys.setenv function in R using the syntax seen here. Once your API key is defined, you can load the chatter package and you can run the chatter underscore app function. This will start a chat in the viewer pane in RStudio. For example, let's ask, what is the best package for data visualization in R? You can click submit and the response will be returned Let's send another message and say, can you show me an example of a ggplot? And this time the response that's generated includes code. Once the response is done being typed out, there will be a few buttons here that you can use. So you can copy the code to your clipboard and you can paste it directly inside of your script, or you can use the other two buttons that were there to send it to your current script or create a new R script. Today, we looked at how we can use GitHub Copilot and ChatGPT in RStudio. By harnessing the power of both of these tools from directly within your IDE, you can significantly streamline and accelerate your R programming workflow, 
all in just a matter of minutes. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you found it helpful. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel so that I can keep making more videos like this.